We have a new addition to the spin dryer collection. Let's find out what I've got and how it works. And you're watching Florence Ballad 83060 on film. So this here is a T-Fowl Spin Master model. Let's have a little look at the rating plate. I can't remember if it's on the bottom or the, I think it might be on the bottom. It's got a little cable tie at the back here. It's very small, you get smaller than my bin. It's, um, in comparison to my hand, that's how big the lid is. It's tiny. It's got a very small spin mat. And actually a plastic tub with slits all around the bottom. Never really seen that. It's got a conical shape to it. Nice little spout. Um, this is actually a model from the 80s. It's very lightweight, as you can see. But don't be fooled. It has a 2200 RPM spin. Alright, so I get my phone. And have a little look at the uh, The LG is currently drying, if you can hear that in the background at the moment. So. <coughs> I'm actually in the process of filming two videos at once. So these are the studs that the machine sits on. They're large rubber ones. Right now, let's see. So there's our motor. It's a, I think it's a direct drive or induction motor. It's very quiet when it's on. It does like to dance about a bit. I don't know how much of that you can see. But there, 2,200 revolutions per minute. Made in that's France, so yeah. I don't know if it's made directly by Tfal or if it's a brand that made it for them. But this was often sold with the mini washer that, um, that they had in the 80s. So I've got to load out the Miele. I've just done on a load of soaking towels that I've done on a. Well, I'll just quickly rinse them and only let through a 400 RPM spin. So we're going to do that in there and I'll show you how this thing works. It might be small, but bloody hell, this thing packs a punch. It um, does like to dance about a bit though. I have, but I've used it previously and uh, for a small machine. It, I, I think it's smaller than the uh, Frigidaire that I've got. I got this from Wandsworth British Art Foundation for £20. So I've got to make sure it can take all this. Excuse the guy in the background revving his car. No, I can take that. Might have a few attempts where we've got to balance the load out, but hopefully that should do it. Right, so simply all I'm going to do... Please excuse the drain in the background for the LG. Close the lid. And this arm doesn't go to the middle, it goes all the way to the end. So I'll switch it on. As you see. You can actually feel the wind coming out of here. That's coming out forcefully, that is. For a tiny spin dryer, it holds a lot. Excuse the wind. Um, unfortunately, I haven't got a way of being able to open it, use it with the lid open. Side in that way. 
has got a very forceful spin break to it. Ready? I'll show you what happens with the spin break. That. Considering how small this, this is, that's come out really dry. Probably about as dry as the frigid air does. Show you the um, size of the tub. It's actually not very big. <coughs> um, let's see, I've isolated the electricity. No, nothing could come on, but still. Pull that back, that's literally it. There's your brake arm. There's your spout. Considering that's how much of my arm is in there, that's not a lot. Um, I've got a conditioner bottle there. Okay, so this is the one I reviewed. So put that in there. Look, that doesn't even fit in. That's how small that tub is, but yet it gets so much in there. Well, um, I'll just do these towels in there now. Throw a bit, throw a bit of water on them and see if they uh, see how it handles a smaller load. Obviously, hang on. Uh, not looking very balanced there. As you know, my trouble with that Creed of Debonair spin dryer that I always have is that I can never get the good balance. So I'll demonstrate a rinse in here. Um, have I got a bottle of water I can use? I've got a jug. I can get my jug of water. I hope the LG isn't too loud in the background, guys. I know how this machine can sound very loud. So you can rinse in this, but the water will come gushing straight out, as I'll show you, because it will go through the very bottom of the tub. It'll go through and it'll come out the bottom. There you go, like I say, it does like to jump out a bit. But it will find itself eventually. Bit of a diva this spin dryer. Um, but it's because it's got a plastic tub rather than a metal one, so it's very lightweight and it shakes it. Up. Might need a few attempts. No, that won't go. Play us. She's going to play us about, isn't she? She's showing off of the camera. Let's try again. And the thing is, these towels aren't even that wet now. They're partially spun out. Let's try again. Come on. There we go. Eventually. I'll do an empty spin so you can hear the um, machine's motor. And that's the sound of the water going through it. Once I hear that sound sob, then I know that all the water can extract it. Spin mat is of course slightly broken, it was when I got it that was like that. Yeah, I'm impressed on how dry stuff comes out. Now I'll put this into the other room and put it on so you can actually hear the motor because the LG is probably a little bit loud here. It's got a very awesome sounding motor. I brought the machine into my sitting room, so we can, and the machine's got nothing in there, as you see. I'm going to just show you how the motor sounds on this thing. It's got a very nice sounding motor. Ready? It 
accelerates pretty fast, it does. You can see there's wind coming out the side of it, blowing the curtains. Force the power for spin brake. Stops very quickly. I'll put the camera to the floor so you get to hear that one last time. That's that. Mum's come in. Okay. Hello. We have a family dinner. Mum's all dressed up. So that guys is my... I'll cut the machine off on the power now. Have a look at what the model number is on it. And then if I'll have a little look. Afterwards I'll put it in the title. So it's very tiny and I might as well show you the rest of the spin drive. So, oh there's a Dyson that we're, I'm planning on reviewing. But it, uh, we're not keeping it though. Yeah, well, there's, uh, there you go. My Dyson's here, and there's all my spin dryers here. So you've got the 3021. There's the spinner rinse down there. The Creed Debonair is under all that, and here's the Frigidaire one. And um, I've got a few spares here. So I've got a hot, that's the 9530W's drawer. That's from a 9578. That's from a WD61, that is. And that was the drawer 9578, which was in the 9530. Yeah, so, um, and there's the Dyson's here. And my bag of vacuum parts. Yeah, so got all that. That's a tub out of that Hoover Electra that I scrapped in Australia for the A3060. Oh, and that is the... That's the hose off the Creeda 17317. And yes, if you forgot that I own that, I own a Remington VicVac, but I still have not been able to find a battery for it. It doesn't want to stay shut that long. And I'll show you the... Another haul that I've got in here. There's the Medivac. My pneumatic George and Hetty is down there with a few of the handhelds. This is the lid off the 9530W with all the trims intact, apart from that one on that side. So that's there, should I ever need it for a white 95. Remember I brought this Kirkland back in January. Still got some left of it in there. There you go guys. And there's the LG just come, currently drying. I'm in the process of filming this on the drying cycle. Alright. So guys, that is my newest addition to my spin dryer collection. Um, there may actually be one more spin dryer coming in. I've seen an 80s Belling one um, in a shop nearby. But we're also looking on getting a compact tumble dryer as well, um, because of course... Um, well, this uh, in the LG video, I'm, I'm going to be explaining what's going on, but uh, we want to bring the 9 x back in because it's the um, fifth anniversary of owning that machine. Yeah, for five years I've had that, so uh, I need a dryer. So I found a Hotpoint TS12 that I might be getting, but it depends on if I can get the couriers to go and get it. I don't know, it all depends on that. We're looking, though. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching this short video. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, and don't forget to keep it supreme and go with the flow.